Hey, how's it going? We are Chrome Alive Productions. Today we're here at Fist Pipe Studio. We're gonna be talking to you a little bit about drum dots. It's a product that we use. We put on top of our snare drums and our toms and a couple other types of drums too. And it helps us to get a little bit more controlled of a sound when we record. This is our resident session musician, Marco Duarte. Hello, hello. He plays in a couple different bands, The Generators and Virgo Serena. He just got yep. back uh, from a couple tours. Yeah. Last uh, last couple months, so he's been using these drum dots quite a lot in uh, in quite a few different instances. So he's going to tell us a little bit about what he likes about them. Yeah, so this is the product here. It's um, drum dots. It's very similar to other products that are on the market for controlling the tone of your drums. I just happen to prefer this one, um, really, just because of the way uh, it it controls the the overtone and the sustain of the drum without altering. The, the you know the nice sweet tone that it has the attack that that the microphones love so much um, But yeah, these have really been coming in handy and they come in two sizes too um, So you can you know obviously get more control in the situations that you need less control for smaller drums um, But yeah instead of just talking about it. Why don't I give you an a B comparison real quick? I'd love to hear what it sounds like with and without cool. So we'll start um just with the snare by itself without the, the drum dot. Pretty ringy. Now, you being an audio engineer, like, is that is that a sound you would typically like to work with, or? There's a lot of stuff in there that uh, I'd probably try to mask at the end of the day. Right. Um, let's see what it sounds like with. Yeah. So this is one of the small ones that I'm putting on here. And I'm putting it maybe like, a quarter of an inch away from the the edge of the of the drum, so uh, Does you can have anything to do with the the sound alteration. It'll give you subtle differences, I think. Um, I think the closer you put it towards the edge, the more the the skin is going to ring out, you know. So you can kind of experiment with it and see where you like it, you know, for whatever sound you're trying to achieve. Um, but yeah, let's do it about a quarter inch away from the edge, and again, it's one of the small ones. Right? That's way different. Could you take the drum dot off again? Yeah. That is worlds apart. Right? So even with like the small one like that, let's, let's try putting one of the bigger ones on there and see uh, how that affects the sound. And again, about a quarter inch away from the edge. That's like, it. it's weird because it, it, it's really cutting out all those overtones, but it's not getting rid of the, like the highs that you get, you know, like from the stick hitting the, mm -hmm. the drum. Yeah, the attack is still there and even the resonance is still there, but you don't get that weird pingy uh, ringing sound. Yeah, and ultimately that's what I really like about these. It's why I prefer these over you know, some of the other products that are on the market or, you know, like a wallet, for instance. Yeah, we've tried there's, that. There's, there's a lot of, yeah, yeah, exactly. There's a lot of, like, different ways to muffle the drum that'll give you different sounds, but mm -hmm. in most of the situations, like, where I'm recording or touring and stuff like that, I tend to prefer just a more natural tone, but if I need to control the sustain, I don't want it, I don't want to give the drums, like, that pillowy, thuddy sound, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, this really just gives me the sound I'm looking for, which is why I... Kind of gravitate towards these. That's it's such a drastic change. Could we hear one more time with and without? Yeah, yeah, totally. So without the dot. I had to get a good rim shot in there. And with the big dot. That is yeah. absolutely awesome. Uh, and for those of you who might be wondering, we have a few microphones on the kit right now. We got a couple SM81s uh, providing our overheads. And on our snare, we have a couple microphones that we really, really like to use, a Telefunken M80s. And uh, those have been our go-tos for our snare sound for quite some time now. Yeah, these mics have definitely um, replaced the 57s in our setup for the snare. Um, I don't know, man. It's that Telefunken sound. We've been liking it. Yeah. So, well, thank you for showing us the drum dots. No problem. And I'm looking forward to recording as much as possible with those things. You and me both, man. All <laughs> right. 
Thanks for tuning in. We are Chroma Live Productions here at Fist Pipe Studio, and we'll see you next time. Later.